to jump into a very short bit from uh, adulthood now. I, I was a competitive fencer, fencing on the U.S. team, That's, and, and a lot of this took up my life through fencing, and so here's, again, as I said, one of those, the first changes. Um, this is lesson three, Stella. You are nothing, she says. <laughs> nothing but cold water. She hits you hard across the arm with her sword. Look at you, she says, circling now. You stand proper like English king. Do you want me to bring you fruit, your highness? <laughs> you plant your feet, bend your knees at precisely 45 degrees, sword arm straight, and you do not answer. You don't know what it means to fight, she continues. Young American from Colorado. Parents take good care of you, no? Never need to fight for anything. She takes your blade in her palm, pulls it into her chest. Hit me, here, she commands. The steel bending as she impales her chest upon the point. You stand stock still, connected to her by the blade, the tension in the steel arcing through your arm. Hit me, she repeats. You pull back your arm to the proper on guard, the position Henri spent years drilling into you, classical French. Hit me harder, she yells. You thrust as hard as you dare. Your eyes lock as the point connects with her chest, and you don't need to hear what she says next. You already know. Can see it reflected back in her eyes. She grabs the blade at the peak of its arc, holds it taut so you know what the force of a good hit feels like, then tears it from your hand and throws it against the wall. She steps forward, leans into your ear. You are no man, she whispers. I only work with men. You should go back to Colorado. Champion of the seven state Rocky Mountain region should be enough for you. You can be proud of that, but you don't. Instead, you show the club manager the welts up and down your arms and legs from where she hit you with the side of her blade to correct your position, and you laugh. You tell him she will change everything about your fencing. She will change everything about you, and you welcome it. You think you can win with strength and speed? Stella's hand, like a spider, moves up your arm. You are a strong man, yes? I can feel that. She pauses, her hand caressing your shoulder. You are a big man, yes? She steps back into on guard, thrusts without warning. You pick up the blade and cream as she's taught you to do, an unorthodox move Henri would never approve. She disengages and completes the thrust into your chest. You swipe nothing but air. Strength and speed win kitty tournament, she says. If you want to fence with men, disguise intent. Now hit me! You lunge hard and fast. Six parry coupe and the flat of her blade slams down in your shoulder. You wince from the pain. Hit me hard! Again you thrust, but this time you pull back your foot. Slow down the lunge. She retreats, and when you fumble in recovering the distance, she beats your blade away and swats your arm. Another welt. You are nothing but cold water, Peter, she says. I want hot water. I am hot water, you say. <laughs> no. Cold. You say nothing. That's very nice, she says, grabbing your blade. You think you can take anything, don't you? She moves in, strokes the blade in the cup of her palm as she talks. The sensuality of the gesture is not lost on you. <laughs> you let anyone beat you, she brings her face in close. Let anyone hurt you. Her mouth inches from your ear, her breath hot upon your neck. Nice American, she whispers, <laughs> afraid to hit, afraid to tell me what you think of me. Still, you say nothing. Her finger traces figure eights beneath your ear. Make lunge short but fast, she says. Must look real even if you can't make it real. Gauge opponent's defense, then follow with straight fate. She presses her cheek against yours. The rush of blood sears. When opponent attempts to parry, deceive. She releases your blade and advances, pushing you backward, taking slow, gliding steps to steal the distance. But you are wary. You keep your guard, matching her rhythm, then breaking it. You move together, two dancers, or better, two coupling dragonflies, each fighting to take control of the flight. Now, build off feint deceive, she says, up in the tempo. Give opponents what he expects, then take away. She attacks hard to your flank. You parry octave and counter, taking advantage of the moment to push her back with the balestra. But Stella is a veteran who has faced the pressure of countless world championships. She makes a double tempo retreat, her legs like an insect's. You chase after her. No, she screams, hitting you hard across the thigh. You clench your foil, start to stand, to walk away. But then, just as quickly, your knees bend to perfect right angles. Your arm sets in position, position. You dig yourself in. Good, Stella says. The king comes down from his throne. <laughs> <laughs>